All right. Now we're doing free code camp. JavaScript algorithms, data structures, beta. Learn basic string and array methods by building a music player. Step 22. All right. So now that we have the list of songs displayed on the string, it would be nice to sort them in alphabetical order by title. Uh, didn't we just say that? Anyway, uh, so we could manually update the all songs array, but JavaScript has an array method we can use called sort. It sure does. It's right over here. We'll go over this in just a little bit, though. Uh, the sort method converts elements of an array into strings and sorts them in place based on their values in the UTF-16 encoding, right? So we've got this constant names, and then we've got some uh, some names in this array. And then when we say names.sort, it puts them in alphabetical order. Now, here's the thing. Like it says over here, let's go through this again. The sort method of array instances sorts the elements of an array in place and returns ref the reference to the same array now sorted. The default sort order is ascending, built on converting elements to strings. So first they're converting these to strings, right? Even if they're not strings, like these numbers, right? And then comparing their sequences of UTF-16 code unit values, right? So yeah, this one's just like that other one. It's gonna put it in alphabetical order. But the thing is, we got const array 134, 21, 100,000. You'd think that it'd be one, four, 21, 30, and 100,000, but that's not how it works. Since it converts it into strings, right? The ones are gonna come first, and then the twos, and then the threes, and then the fours, just like A's would come before the B's, comes before the C's, and comes before the D's, right? So if we run it, we see, yes, it in fact does that. And in 100,000s before these ones, because it's not actually looking at the value, it's looking at the position in the UTF-16 code unit values, all right? So hopefully that makes sense for you. We'll go over we'll go over this a lot more because we actually can use sort to do it in, no, in numerical order, but we gotta do it a different way, all right? So let's come back over here. Inside our sort songs function, we're gonna add the sort method to user data uh, optional chaining songs, all right? So basically for this one, we'll just say user data optional chaining songs dot sort with the parentheses, cap it off with a semicolon, and that should take care of it. So let's check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 23, and we'll see you next time.